I'm looking at variation four of Mozart's um, theme and variations first movement of K331 in A major. And the challenge here is the crossed hands. Um, and there's a bass line in the left hand, and the crossover hand is actually the melody. Um, so the bass should not be a continuum of the melody. It's its own bass, but yet you have a curve motion across to the to the soprano line, which is in thirds. The alto line duplicates or doubles the thirds of the soprano line. You have a kind of homophonic movement, which means chordal movement, and it's like a choir type of movement. And what's hard is the, the hand crossover and the balance between all the voices. Um, in my video, I should have fleshed out more of this. And it depends, of course, on your recording conditions. You really want to hear this soprano line going across. The first thing I do is I block out this um, middle voice. It's, it's the alto voice. And because it's alternating a chord plus a single note and it goes in a kind of pattern like that, it's good to block it out to get the sense of the movement so that when you unblock it, you're, you're all positioned and you also you know, want to start using your wrist motion. Now I would, you, know, you can use a little pedal here too. So you would have this. You hear the melody going through you know, these thirds because it doubles the melody on top. And then, of course, slow motion. Look at all the common tone E's. You need to know the harmonic rhythm too, like where you go dominant or tonic. This measure is a dominant measure with passing tones. And then here is tonic, and then dominant. And you should use the fingering that you're going to use when you unblock it, of course. And here comes, and I'm not doing any legato here, I'm just blocking. There will be, when you uh, break it up, you will do a legato alternating motion, and you'll continue that way. Beautiful melody. It's a six chord, which is so pretty. Substitute chord for one chord. Two chord. Part one. Now, you can also now just do the melody. Now, you can say rest because in the place of the very first, this is in six eighth time, the first eighth note will be played with the left hand. That will be the downbeat. But you're still thinking in two because six eighth is duple compound, the sense of dividing the measure in half in two. So you can start right here so that you don't think that the left hand is part of the melody. It's easy to think it's bump, be da di da da, but it isn't. It's rest, rest, A and then B and see what fingering is here. The trick here too is in these thirds to bring out the upper voice so you don't hear too much of the bottom voice. And this is um, three blind mice. Three blind mice. Or three um, bum. If you see a slur of two, you want to. That's part one. The only thing that remains is the bass. And the bass is, you know, the outline of the one or the dominant or the tonic and so forth. So this is dominant. And before you do, it's a good idea to take that, and I probably should have done that before I did this, is to unblock the alto voice. So you have... Mm -hmm. 
actually is different there. Four, five, four, five, two, one. Everything you do want to shape nicely. As if whenever you practice you don't want to go later I'll do the shaping. You do it right away. Of course I'm behind tempo here but um, when you put it together this is the trick because this middle voice can't overshadow this and because the high range of the piano gets weaker in terms of its sound and this would be the heavier part you have to lean more into the um, upper voice. So in slow motion you would get this. section goes back to, and by the way, when you do play a variation, you want to harken back to the way the statement was in the, um, in the theme, uh, in, in the original. So that, you know, when you play that uh, first half, you're thinking back to that. The second part, you know, left hand is just like an Albert bass. There's a broken chord bass, four chord, which goes back to the second part of the theme, which was. So now you have. change that fingering on the three blind mice, which would be... Mm -hmm. 